Hello fellow YouTubers, it's Scott here again, Scott Mechanics, to show you two tests I'm doing on my new LED test light. There's the test light, made by Snap-on. What I'm showing you here is the draw on the current. Here's my old test light. What we're going to use is conventional meter and the power probe to show you the current draw on both of them and this is our power probe and the conventional meter these are about 34 pounds and these are about 400 pounds that's the difference straight away in the cost um, with the power probe if I touch test light these are about 15 pounds and these are about 36 pounds so if I touch the, the test light the other end is connected to the battery positive if I touch the negative she lights up same with the LED one touch the negative it lights up if I take the power probe touch that uh, battery positive or negative Yeah, it's showing volts, you've got a red light there, 12.8 volts, and if we touch it to the negative, without me hand going in the way, touch it to the negative, it changes to ohms and you get a green light appear here. Um, conventional voltmeter what I'm doing I'm going to show you the current draw on these two probes these two test lights so as we go into here and we select power plus mode then I'm going to press minus so that now tip of this will show the current draw on this test lamp. First we do this one, see the light lights up and we're touching it on the current draw press the hot shot button it resets it all current draw is 20 amps or well, 200 milliamps, sorry, 200 milliamps, which is 0.2 of an amp. Okay, we'll do the same test with our LED one. Take the LED one, see it lights up. Look at the current draw. Press the hot shot button. You can see it's 13 was the minimum, 0.13, 13 milliamps that is, and 15 milliamps with a total inrush of 16 milliamps. Sorry, let's put that on the screen again. If I put my finger over the light. Better see that a bit better. There we go. So what you have is 13, 15, and 16. It's the other one was 0.2 of an amp, so it's nothing. Very very low current draw on the LED one. Now, if we use this conventional voltmeter for 35 quid you can see the negative lead the black lead here is connected to the battery negative and I have the, the red lead in my hand so if we touch that to the and we've set it on 10 amps 
we touch that to this one see it lights up Move the light just off the screen and you can see we have 0.2 of an amp which is fine it shows it's all good and working but now if we were to test the LED one you can see it's registering 0.01 of an amp we know from the other one it was 13 15 somewhere there yeah so what we have to do is unplug the red one on this particular meter move it across to milliamps then change this to 200 milliamps now if we check it to your test light lights and with 13.8 milliamps yeah the other one read a uh, minimum of 13 it was showing the current draw of 15 so you've got to play about with these leads to do it if we take this one the 0.2 of an amp one and touch that lights up and we've gone off the scale yeah 199 would off the scale which means on this one we have to keep unplugging it and switching the dial to get a reading whereas on the power probe we don't we can just touch either lamp either test light And there, like so. And we'll zoom in on it. Touch over the press test light with the power probe. And we can have a reading without really pressing anything. We go 13. If we go back to the other one, we've got 0.2 of an amp. So, shows you how good the power probe is, power probe hook. Very good without its auto range in tip. Excellent bit of kit. And we need both of them. This we hardly use now. Our old multimeter. We still use it, but not so much since we've got the power probe hook. Thank you very much for your time, YouTubers.